just gonna finish washing my hands. Hi, I'm Ariel, your physical therapy intern. How are you doing today, Mr. Johnson? I'm doing fine. Doing pretty good. All right, well, I know that you had your manual lunch drainage done earlier today, and what I'm coming in to do today is a compression bandage to just continue that process and moving the lymph further up into your body. Um, is that okay with you today? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, before we get started on this, I wanna make sure that you don't have any problems I need to worry about. Do you have any sort of cardiac issues? Um, deep vein thrombosis, recent fractures, you don't have any infections going on, anything weird I need to know about. All right, I checked your chart already and you cleared for everything, but I just like to double check with the patient. Okay, um, I wanna um, do some sensory testing on you and examine your arm, is it okay if I touch you? All right, I'm gonna roll this up, if that's okay. And if you have any questions throughout this whole process, just make sure you ask me, okay? Okay. All right. Just want to examine this, make sure you don't have any open wounds or infections I need to worry about. Looking in between the fingers, everything looks good. You seem to have good circulation everywhere. Have you had any numbness, numbness or tingling? No? Okay, all right. Well, I would, if someone did a sensory test, you're going to feel this. Do you feel that? I want you to close your eyes and tell me yes when you feel it. Look up. Close your eyes, sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. All right, thank you. Okay, so I think we're going to, we want to go ahead and get started. Um, today, what we're going to do is have an order for everything. First thing I want to do is I want to put this on you. All this does is just protect your skin. That's all it's really for. Okay. So we just put this on you, um, and then as we do the um, wrappings today, it just kind of is a barrier between your skin and all the wrappings. And when you learn how to do this yourself, you want to always make sure this pulls up all the way up to two fingers away from your underarm. Okay. Like that. Okay. All right, so the first thing we start with is um, this little thing right here. It's just a little um, wrapping that's gonna use, always start above this bone right here, okay? You're gonna start with this wrapping, anchor it, and it's gonna wrap your fingers. And if we you wrap your fingers, it prevents your fingers from getting any of that um, lint coming back into the fingers, okay? So when you wrap your fingers, start at the end of your finger and wrap half your nail bed and then go back down like this okay okay don't you you see how i just wrapped it back around your arm like that mm -hmm. and the goal of this is not to get this really really tight you just want to wrap it okay And you want to make sure when you're doing this, you're keeping your palm clear so that you can still use your hand to pick up and carry things because even though you're wearing this, it doesn't mean you're not using this hand. In fact, I want you to keep using this hand, but don't lift anything heavy. A gallon of milk weighs about eight pounds. That's about the most I want you to lift, okay? Okay. All right, so this ended right here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and start with another one. Um, if, if you start with the um, other one, then do the same thing and throw it up here go back down and I'm just going to recover that right there so it doesn't unravel see how I did that go back down here same process grab it around all right so I ended the bandage you never want to end the final bandage on your fingers so that worked out good and your palms clear so with this, I'm just gonna wrap this up the rest of your arm. Just kind of loosely. Um, I would cut it, but for these purposes, I will not. So that's gonna be there. Pull this down. If you need to take that at home, you can, but normally it kind of sticks to itself, so I'm not worried about doing that today, okay? But at home, when you're doing it by yourself, you may need to. Can you punch me in the stomach? Thank you. See how that's pulled up there? All right, the next step you do is this foam right here. And this foam, you don't have to worry about wrapping it tightly or pretty. This is really just to keep your arm um, evenly compressed. And see how the bottom part of your arm is smaller? So you wanna make sure that you make the bottom part of your arm, which is smaller, the same size as the top part of your arm so that everything is compressed the same. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, when we get to the bend of your elbow, can you bend your elbow? There we go, right there. All right, I'm gonna finish this off right here and then we'll move to that part because it's gonna be a little different. Like I said with this, it doesn't really matter how pretty it is, it just matters that you get it on here. 
All right, so when we get to your elbow, at that little crease right there, you wanna make sure that you have extra padding right here because that little dip can be problematic if it's not properly um, padded because then the lint doesn't keep flowing and it just kind of collect right there and we want it to be all evenly compressed. Okay? Okay. And now, oops, you know that um, you wanna wear this 24 hours a day um, and you can change it once you learn how to do it. We'll have to teach you more how to do it. Um, but you'll be wearing it, and especially on plane rides, long car trips, you want to make sure you wear it. All right, so now you see that the whole arm is kind of the same size, and we need to go all the way up to there, but um, just make sure you always go up to two fingers right there. So the next thing you do is this elastic short stretch thing. What we want to do here is since we're going to wrap your thumb next, we want to make sure that we are gonna wrap this towards your thumb so that we can wrap it around your thumb. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, and we always start with the smallest. Remember that bone right there? You still wanna go above that bone. All right, so you're gonna anchor it around a couple times. Come down here, and when you get right here, just kind of bend it like that so that we don't get any material into your um, thumb that's gonna be uncomfortable for you. All right, so now that we have that done, we just wanna make sure that you wrap now 50% across each time. Just keep getting up like this. Can you punch me in the stomach? Thank you. Just keep wrapping. Once we get to the elbow, can you bend your elbow just a little bit? Yeah, I figured we'd buy right there. So when we get to the elbow, we want to do an X right here. Where you been? Where you been? See where that X is? We want to do that. Because if we don't do that, you're not going to be able to bend your elbow like you need to. All right, we ran out of bandage again. That's okay. I'm going to grab the next size up and start wrapping. This time, I'm going to wrap the opposite direction. Okay? And see how I covered it up? Like I said, at home when you're doing this, you may need to use a piece of tape. But for our purposes, I don't need a piece of tape. See, I'm just gonna go over that X again so I can keep going up the rest of your arm. All right, just continue doing 50% of the way up. Just like I'm gonna end it just where it needs to be done. All right, and that's the final fit. So you just take one of these longer pieces of tape. This is, you will have to take this down. Take that like that. We'll do the second piece just to keep it really secure. Just like that. All right. I know these hooks come with the elastic bandages. Don't use it, it can damage your skin, um, cause an injury. So how do your fingertips feel? Feel oh. good? All right, can I ask you to squeeze your fist? Everything feel okay? Can you bend your elbow? Can you pretend like you're putting a spoon in your mouth? Can you scratch behind your head? Can you reach behind your back? All right, looks good. Okay, well, next time you come, we will reassess all this and we'll take your limb measurements and see if, um, how much the limp has per, um, decreased. And eventually what's gonna happen is you're just gonna get a sleeve, you just slip on your arm. You won't have to do all this wrapping like this. And um, make, like I said, make sure you use this arm. Next week we'll go over some muscle pumping exercises just to keep that limp flow going. Um, do you have any questions? Um, is there, what about like taking a shower or something like that? Taking a shower, just um, wrap it up in a plastic bag. Okay. Just don't let it get wet. So, yep, and then if you need to wash it, say if you do something you need to wash it, just uh, wash it, hand wash, lay flat to dry, and you put any lotions or soaps, uh, just do hyperallergenic, okay? Okay. All right, have a great day, and if you have any questions, just let me know.